All right, should be live here. Okay, nice. This is raw. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just copy it. Okay. Oops. Let's go ahead and do this. Cool. Login. Imagine. Yo, what's up, Swastik? How's your day going, buddy? Uh, so let's go ahead. I think I'm going to rewrite. Actually, let's go ahead and make this. Why doesn't that control WT? Huh, okay. I don't think I want all of these patterns exactly. What's up, DSN? Yeah, this is this part's good. good um we can we could probably drop it up we could probably drop it in for a bit today the colors are all jacked up but we can we can leave it in if you guys are interested in seeing Let's actually just change this local lib. Yeah, okay, so this one's Good afternoon, Teach and Chat. Hopefully everyone's joining the weekend. Indeed. Oh that reminds me. Oh, okay. Well wait, why isn't my uh uptime thing working on my I need to set a timer. I don't know where I put my phone. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, we're going to be done in two hours, okay? Whoops, we can turn off my notification sounds as well. Uh, timer. Delete. Two. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I told Kayleen I'd be done. So that's what we're going to do. Vim 9? What's this? Do you not know what Vim 9 is? Vim 9. Uh, well, I think probably the best GitHub Vim Vim. This is probably the easiest way to link to this. Let me think about this. Doc Vim 9 script. Vim 9.txt. Okay, so we'll just do this. Commands add Vim 9. It's going great, Smith. We're just we're just hanging out, just chilling, relaxing. I just uh, wanted to work on this. Uh... Yeah, pretty much it's Bram's uh, newest language he's making to try and make Vimscript faster and better. 
end result is nil when we do this. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay, so these make sense to me. Function. Alright. So let's do local lib is this, right? Lib dot literal. Uh, P. I think it's just, I think it's just, like, literal is just literally I'll type P. Okay. Return lib. Okay. So we can find all the places that we said here. We can actually just change this to be lib dot uh, literal. Yeah, what about you, Smith? You having a good weekend? Hmm. For a set, I thought I could just do... Um, P.S matches any characters in string. S stands for set. Right, so why don't I just return A dot dot B all of these things? I, this is such a weird way to write this because I feel like Can't I just concat all these together? I guess this way function a b return a dot b end. I guess this makes sense. Okay uh, Takes um, var args and cats all of them and wraps in lpeg.set. Yo, what's up, Rodri? Ooh, nice. Doing some, doing some docs. Thanks, man. Most clickbait title on Twitch. That's literally what we're doing, though, Muniter. It can't be clickbait if that's literally what we're doing. I like range here. This one's good. S dot dot e. Okay. I don't know if these have to literally be strings. I feel like they have to literally be strings. Assert type S equals string S start must be a string. Hoping to have a first draft done with all the built-in pickers. Oh, dang, Smith. Smith, you should put up what you have so far uh, and ping me on it, and then I can uh, take a look at it. This will accept as many full concatters as we want. The thing is, I think I actually sometimes want these to be literally as tables. I don't actually even want them to be var args. Because I prefer this strategy that we've got going on here. How, uh, Mata? Some stuff's good, some stuff I don't like. It's in a working round. Oh, really? Uh, I have to figure out some of them still. Ooh, I just didn't see it. Nice, very cool. Oh, this is awesome. Very cool. Bit of doctrine issue. Yeah, there could be some issues in doctrine, honestly. The YouTube series? Uh, it's We're working on it. We're actively working on it. We just recorded another video yesterday. So what if we instead did something like all of these took a table? That's kind of the one thing that I... I gotta think about how this would work. Maybe before I switch everything over to lib, we should rewrite a few of these and figure out what our pattern would be. A 
right grammar root. Yeah, I really like it so far. It's been a really fun keyboard. I still don't, I also don't know how I want to test this. stuff inside here okay oh I guess I didn't want that that on second generating the way put the docs and any of the built-in files that aren't built in slash init that lua oh smith that could be that could be an issue with the upstream thing i haven't really played with fennel no gavin i'm not really I'm, i haven't really written lisp at all so Shoot. Okay, so why doesn't this work again? Unable to candidate A. It's patterns. Set. Okay, so where do we use set inside here? Grammar, white space, table. Oh, maybe this just is actually on tack here. know where that's dying though is the problem set set do we not have it anywhere else local v no value oh i should probably have uh, chilled a little bit before i wrote too much of this okay so these ones are fine that's the only change we made from there I don't think I changed anything in this file, so it should be all right here. But grammar unpack. I don't think I actually want to use this for some of these. I think this should just be unpacked, and this should also just be unpacked. Loop body makes up an empty string. All right. Um, London's under your keyboard for sound matters. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the sound too. I haven't, uh, I don't know. It works for me. It does what I, it, it sounds good to me too. Uh, oh, I don't have EOF. What? Uh, no, I definitely have that defined. I'll just quit out of this and start over again. Loop on it makes up empty string. Okay. Ah, I was too was I too greedy here? Let's uh, go ahead and comment this out for now. So I had some stuff working and I wrote some code uh, not in an editor basically. Which was probably a mistake. That was probably a mistake. 
branch here. Sequence of this. Capture. I don't remember how to fix this problem. Group out a sign. Oh, that's why. This like this is like this. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're back. Right first refactor later. Do you have auto -clean for no HL? Are you triggering the mapping? Uh, I've got it. So I've got key, whoops, key maps, uh, no HL. I have uh, enter. It checks if uh, no highlight search is currently on. If it is, then it sends no HL. Otherwise it sends uh, regular enter. So when I do something like auto, I can just press, when I press enter, see it turns off. And that does nothing else otherwise it, it does something oh it does feel so good to remove uh to remove remove uh code man branch sequence all right so what was uh I actually probably don't want to say this then. You will, maybe I should say false here. Okay, and then I can say that this takes. Ah. So what does branch do again? P.branch. Branch is uh, ors. Cool. Yeah, I, I uh, that one's a, that one's an oldie for me. That one's definitely an oldie for me. All right, well this still works and we still get pass in here. All right, so that's good. A sign, a sign can have group dot expression okay equals this so c any i wanted to change how we're writing these yo what's up uh, bear cool cow so i wanted to change this to be i already have any and it will do this so i can just change this to any any seek Okay, so uh, let's try. Let's just try and parse a few numbers. Should parse a number. I wanted to try this. Uh, five. So this. Checks, function, checks, parse, parse, string. So parse takes a G. Okay. Sorry, chat. We're just, uh... Uh, sorry. I'm just trying to get through some of this because I had some things in my brain about getting this done. And I uh, want, I've been like trying to get it to work in my head, but I needed to write code for it. The words are currently hard right now. Wow. Very hard. I wonder if this works. Index a nil value. That was like the worst sentence I've probably ever said. You know what I mean? It may or may not have been the worst sentence I've ever said. Okay, so I was well, hoping with this loop, this would take G, this would pass parse to G here. This would go inside here, match G or grammar. Ah! 
Okay, so we can do used grammar. E equals grammar. If G, then used grammar equals where the nine that parser to make grammar G and used grammar. All right, let's see if this does something now. Oh, so this this fails here. Oh, okay. So we're not getting anything. We're not getting anything. That keyboard sounds like good code. It do, it's been really nice. Go from junior in one easy trick, you know, in one easy trick, chat. Parse t if t dot adder. All right. So function parsed get it. Match this, this adder's mouse. Hmm, okay, interesting, interesting. It uh, should load. So we're not getting anything. I thought what would happen. Oh wait, are we just, we're just, so we call pit here. It takes checks and then G. It parsed, parse, stir and G. So parse takes stir and G. Hit. One, two, three, four, right? Uh, name, stir, checks and G. This passes local parse is G. Let's say we don't pass this in. Oh, right, it doesn't have uh... Oh, does this change the string? Var equals var, parse. Oh, shoot. Okay, right. Right. Okay, that's why it doesn't parse it. Okay. Prefix equals this. Ah, that's why. Okay, chat. I remember now. So we can go here. I can say number. And then maybe this will parse now. No comma between two eagles in the test. Oh, I see my. Be oh, did I did I miss something though? All right, so we should be able to do this. Sweet. Okay. I'm trying to make these tests crazy easy to write. Last time, so this is my version two of the parser. This is my version two of the parser. This time we're trying to think a little bit more. I don't know, a little bit differently about the grammar, a little bit cooler. Um, I think this is pretty sweet. So this is like, we can do describe numbers. Okay, right? So this is the, this is the parser that we're making. So what we should do here is test number value. So we can do something like this, input, output, we can just do all this business here. Ah, uh, we should say name. Name. Input. Output. Right? So we should just be able to do this. Test number value should parse a decimal number. Five, five. Oh, baby. We can say if we did six, 
He'll be like, yo, dude, you said six, but actually we got five. Uh, duh, of course, because I didn't think this. Oops. So then we should do test number value should parse a hex number. Zero x, I don't know, one zero. Zero x one zero. I think that's actually all I wanna, I just wanna say is like, it should, it should parse this. Should also get it with caps, because I think that's acceptable. Okay, cool. Oh, that's... Oh, we should make sure that it parses uh, floats. One, two, three, beep, beep, beep. All right, so for those, it's very simple. It's very simple that you expect the number to just be exactly the number. But that's cool, looks good. If we find some other weird number cases, we should make sure that our numbers parse that. Oops. Missed the opportunity to parse the 0.5. Oh, shoot, you're right. We should just check and make sure that it works for 0 0.5. Weird. Why would 0 0.5 return nil? <laughs> oh man, classic, classic. Okay, cool, so that let us just test literally number all by itself. So now I can rewrite some of these things and make sure that I still like the way that they look. Um, so this is one or more branch. Oh, right, I didn't test that. Uh... We can, whoops, we can do this. Cool. Ah, that's not the button I meant to press. Negative number? Oh, true. We haven't. We actually don't even have negative numbers yet, so that will fail. It doesn't know how. Good point. We didn't do that one yet. I actually don't know what I put that. I think you do want to put it in number because you can just have like blah equals negative one. Yeah, Swastik, I don't really have any rewards. I don't really do too much with those. All of these can just take a negative in front of it, right? don't need to capture uh, this bit here these things will do the capturing for us sequence so I think then what we should say is uh, optional neg uh, unary operator it's just unary probably right All right, so we haven't made uh, optional and we haven't made any, or we haven't made uh, unary. So we'll have to do that. I don't remember if I already made something for patterns. Do I have optional? I don't even think one, I said one or no before. But I think I'm gonna change this to be optional. I think that's a nicer way to say it. The dot optional. For now, we'll do this. Uh, one plus the length one table. 
for now. Okay, so we can do, um, whoops. Oh shoot, I accidentally just put my keyboard in reset mode. Sorry, keyboard combo, that puts it into reset mode. Probably should be a little harder to type. Okay. But, too late. Just had to res give the old restarter room. Yo, what's up, Bisco? By the way, might have painted the wall green. I'm thinking about painting the wall green. Are you writing parts from scratch? Not, I'm using LPEG. Definitely using LPEG. We haven't done scientific notation yet. Um, I actually don't know if Vim 9 script has scientific notation. So we only need to parse the things that Vim 9 script has. Trying to reduce plugin stuff. Only free book is 5.0. How do I buck up? Um, I think the one on the Lua website for 5.0 works for 5.1, basically. Um, Arrow, I don't know when the last time you were here. I bought a new camera, which has very much helped it. Well, I just have a green uh, mat. So we are writing the parser part from scratch. We're using LPEG. I don't know if you're if that's what you're asking, Mouse. But I like. I don't, I don't love the way that some of LPEG stuff works because I find it really hard to read. So I'm writing some wrappers around it that I, that I like more. And I'm just trying to be, I'm just trying to have fun and write something that I think looks very elegant and beautiful when I'm done, right? So you can have a, a plus, right? And minus, those would be the only unary operators you can have, right? I didn't write set yet. Oh, I, I called it branch before, right? I don't really like the word branch as much though. Let's call it set. I used to call it branch, but I think set is better. Is that allowed in Lua? Is what allowed in Lua? Seeing the seek call, I wondered. Yeah, so seek is actually just uh, a wrapper around some other stuff that I have, but more or less, uh, it's a t it's just a times b folded. Oh, true. Um, oh, that's a good point. Can you do that for numbers? Ah, all right. We gotta we gotta pull out uh, build git clone. I gotta look at this in uh, vim vim. We gotta look at the language spec here. Spec, not five. Echo not, not five. Okay, so you can do that. I don't know if Vim Nonscript will let you do that. So can you have unlimited of these? The big flex over prime, big flex, big flex. I just bought a big green mat, actually. I didn't even paint the desk green. Sorry, though. Um, so I guess you're right. Unaries can also be this. Uh, but actually, no. That doesn't... That wouldn't be for a number, though. I don't think you can do this. Maybe you can, actually. Okay, you can just put as many of these as you want. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. Um, I don't think there's really anything in here that talks about that part in particular. Yeah, but those are not those are not things. So this is for determining a number. Oh my goodness, there we go. Uh, 
Um, so you can have as many minuses as you want. Can you really have this? Echo uh, minus plus minus plus five. You can. Can you do that in Lua? Oh, no, of course you can't. Uh, can I do this? <laughs> okay, so you can only have one of these, I'm pretty sure, in Lua. We'll make that, and then we'll see what happens. Uh, that's commit messenger. Uh, I don't... Commit. Commit messenger. Commit messenger. I don't know. It's ri some Riz to plug in. For improving typing speed? Uh, you've been practicing with G typist for about a year, but I can't get go past 80. Um. How, like, how are you practicing? How are you practicing? I don't have any comments on Zig, but I'd like to try it sometime. We might do a stream on it someday. How are you practicing, GD? I think it depends how you're practicing. Darren Cliff. Oh, and Leonardo Sergio. Oh, that was earlier. Thanks for the follow. Mess just messenger. Nice. There we go. I tried all the other ways, I guess, of that, didn't I? Is this just nil? So this didn't get anything. So I thought I could do optional this, which says I need one or nothing. I have a set of a plus and a minus, should be literals. A sequence of these. Done with almost all QWERTY drills. Yeah, okay, so I am yeah, still enjoying the dactyl. GD, I would suggest um, my sig so one thing would be like, I don't know, do you ever look, do you ever look down at the keyboard? Like, have you looked at the keyboard this week while you're typing or this past month? So I'm dead serious. Get yourself a cardboard box and put it like this over over your keyboard. I'm dead serious. Put it over your keyboard like this. Okay, cut it out so your hands can fit in. Literally make it impossible for you to look at the keyboard. <clears throat> Do something like that and see if it starts to improve. No, not at all. Oof, okay, that makes it even tougher. That makes it even tougher. I mean, 80 words per minute is still pretty fast. All right, so I don't know why this isn't working, actually. It's just nothing, okay? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, 80 isn't like, it's not like that slow. I 
I'd say 80 words per minute and like high accuracy is good. <clears throat> I don't like I don't think I get any more work done. Uh by Oh, this isn't getting captured. Should I say... Oops, I keep forgetting I got new keys here, man. Oh man, it's tough. Where else do I put all these wraps? Okay. That's why it's not... I don't think it's parsing this. It must be lying one table. Oh, this unpacks it. Okay, this actually doesn't work. Of course, of course, of course, of course. <clears throat> um, not optional. T. If not T, that's skip. Then result equals uh, P. Dot capture result. Um, what is, it looks like you have huge arms, screw your body. I do have huge arms. I, I lift all the time. Um, what's your, what's my words per minute? Um, on my new keyboard, it's a little slower, but I think I was in the 120 to 140 range as well. Which languages do you know, bro? Uh, I know lots of languages. Um, I write, I've written a lot of Python. I've written a lot of uh, Lua. I've written a lot of C. I've written a decent amount of Go now. Um, I know JavaScript, TypeScript, I don't know. Lots of random stuff. Vimscript. I'm, a Vim, I'm one of the world's foremost Vimscript, Vimscript experts. <clears throat> yeah, it is true though. Code speed versus normal typing speed is very different. Live typing test, please. Uh, okay, we can do one live typing test. I don't think I'm gonna be, uh, I literally just got this keyboard last week, guys, so I don't know how good I'll be, but we'll see what happens. Mistake. Oops. Oh, I shouldn't have gone back for that. My speed's gonna suffer. All right, so like at 120-ish, 115. Yeah, it's JetBrains Mono. Yeah, coding words per minute don't really matter if you're bug fixes per minute or high. True. Use monkey type instead. I said I'm gonna do one. Why would I? Why would I do a bunch of other ones? <laughs> Thanks, Mac. Would this cause all of our other ones to fail? I don't understand why is this why is this failing all of a sudden here? I said numbers could have group.unary. That should make this set. Sets are branches. Uh 
and you can have either a plus or a minus. So this should make all that makes only our negative one fail. Do you like writing Vim script? Um, for some stuff, but not really anymore. I'd prefer to just write Lua. Um, I had a lot of fun writing it, doing fun stuff, but I mean, it wasn't like, uh, I, I like other languages more. All right, this doesn't make any sense. Sequence of N, and then we have any of these. Oh, wait, this isn't capturing? Oh, shoot. I, I want this to be... Oh, dang. I'm dumb, chat. Oh, we just accidentally redefined stuff at the top of the file because I copied and pasted stuff earlier. Oh, I did not like writing it just generally. I would never write it for anything outside of Vim. I would never use it for anything besides Vim. <laughs> All right, so this is confusing, right? Because we have set here. Need this anymore that one's fine wait we don't whoops we don't use eof all oh, right because that busted everything does this still bust everything when i do this it does okay i gotta figure out why that would make it so that i can match empty string i, I guess i don't super understand that part Um, Vim 9 LSP server written in Lua. <laughs> be free to once we're done, once we get this far, we'll be kind of, we'll be kind of close actually. We'll be kind of close. Um, we'll be getting kind of close. I'm like, I'm making a little DSL on top of LPEG. And I'm having fun. I'm having fun. All right, so now we parse uh, this correctly. We should also parse plus numbers. Oops. Oops, no, no, no. Uh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. I can't. I'm still working on this key. Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Replace. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. I changed where I have equals and plus to completely different spot. It's weird. Can't wait to have Vim as LSP server from Nascript that you have to launch from NVim to edit Vim script. <laughs> now that would be pretty next level. It would be pretty next level. All right, so we don't actually have multiple. Okay, I guess I don't even know. Is this is this allowed? Um, tester.vim, vim9 script, if, can I do this even, uh, I'm thinking plus, oops, plus, 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 five, echo, hello, and if, oops, source, okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't like that, source, Using a number as a bool? You can't even do this anymore? What the heck is this? How can I even... Is there no uh, control X control V? Help to bool? Do I have to do... Do I really have to do this?
Okay, interesting. Vim9 has real types just like Java. Yeah, but you would think five would be okay. It's not okay though. Interesting. Okay, that's new to me. New keep is good. New keep is good so far. Raw basic and harpo acid. Uh, thanks for the follows. It's good to see you, Nix. Okay, so that's new to me. Uh, but I don't care if that doesn't work. I, we can make it work a different way. But uh, we do not actually have the ability to pass multiple of those. That doesn't work. Okay. Should not parse test failed number value should not parse double unaries plus uh, plus plus five that's a no no we can copy this bad boy here should not what did I call it again oh test test failed number value right test failed number value there should be no output. There should be... Oops. There we go. Okay. Some stuff about the keyboard I'm still getting used to because I switched up some keys. Beautiful. This doesn't work. What's up, Amber? All right, I gotta, I gotta help out Amber. I don't know what she's doing. Oh, oh my goodness, my legs. Fix your posture and hydrate, chat. Yeah, for real. Well, I played basketball for a while yesterday, so my legs are feeling a little bit, a little bit dead zos. All right. Okay, so this is cool. This means uh, these don't, these don't work. Good. All right. So now the next thing we need to work on is we need to write uh, the stuff for doing. Let's just write first, just only calculators. What is this song? It's called Blue to Blue by Cloud None. Blue to Blue, Cloud None. Ugh. Oh, Cloud None, sorry, Cloud, Cloud None. Sorry, typos. All right, so this is a terrible expression because it doesn't do anything. What we need to do is we need to, let's first do basically like, let's do basically like a calculator style thing, right? So we need to start being able to parse stuff like um, expressions, describe, uh, let's just do arithmetic. Okay, so we're just gonna do some arithmetic things here. And what do we wanna do? We're gonna get an expression so basically we're gonna have something like this and we wanna do something like five plus, whoops, five plus, plus five, 
Keep closing plus. They're right here. They're right here on this finger in programmer layer. They're right here in this finger. That's equals. That's plus. They're easy to press. They're easy to press. Okay. Five plus seven times 12, right? What do we want that to do? We need that to do something nice for us. So we need that to basically come out with something that looks like plus, uh, plus five. And then over here we need uh, times seven and 12, right? That's what we need to generate. Or an equivalent data structure, an equivalent data structure to this. <clears throat> I think currently this won't work with the way that I started off with some of my nodes, which is why we're tackling this first because I didn't really work with precedence the last time I was working with this. I just wasn't thinking about it. I was going to let Lua handle it, but then I realized we couldn't let Lua handle it because there's some stuff that we have to do beforehand. And it won't work good. It won't work good. So, how do we want to do this? Plus the other thing is uh, we can have something like this. We can have one, two, three, plus, ah, uh, plus, four, five, six. The output of this should be uh, one, two, three, four, whoops, four, five, Six. That's what Vim 9 script expects. If you do this in Lua, if you just straight up add the two tables, it'll do something weird. You know compiler, Mark Songs? So instead of compiling a language to like bytecode or machine code or ASM or something, we're gonna take one language and compile it into another language. So we're taking Vim 9 script and we're gonna output Lua. So that NeoVim can execute it. Like Elm to JS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people just call it compiling, but I think it's a little, it just feels a little weird to call it a compiler. Hello and nice project. Awesome. Thanks, Fireglow. So let's. So how are we, how are we gonna do this? First, we should think about what is Vim nine script. Uh, that's you can read about it here. Vim Bram's making a new language in Vim, and I still want uh, Vim and NeoVim to work together. So did something just happen? Eric dot dev nine months streak. Dang, an OG member right here. Type in the chat and show your founder badge, Eric. Crazy thing I've been streaming for nine months. You don't have a founder badge? Wait, what? How do you not have a founder badge? What? Weren't you like one of my first five people to sub? Who gets founder badges then? I don't understand. I mean, Eric and I are good friends, so I figured it was the first, oh, it's, only, it's literally only the first 10. Wow. Well, I like barely have 25 subs now, I think. <laughs> uh, so I don't understand, weird. Okay, well, my bad, Eric, I apologize. Minter, I don't think you have one either. Mark Songs and Parse, hey, thanks for the follows. Can I find that out somehow? Can I find out who founders are? Community, roles, manager. All roles, moderator, VIP, nope. It's not in there. I don't know, chat. First 10? <whistles> Dang, true. Eric.dev, another only devs member, guys. Only devs. All 
All right, so my understanding of how you do this, let's just ignore this. Let's just ignore these for right now. I actually don't know what I need to do to make this work well. So I was reading um, Alpeg Calculator Grammar, this guy right here. So they do a nifty little trick here that I liked quite a bit, where they take a node and they change it to its op and then its left and its right. I think I can already do this because I actually already have this. I actually already have this. So their trick was that they did uh, terms factors like this. Uh-oh, what's happening now? Pixel Hero, dang, thanks for the sub. Yo, what's up, Nate, 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 Nate? This is your first month subbing? Thanks, appreciate it, appreciate the sub. Oh, nice, I love that emote. That's my, it's probably my, well, obviously we've got, we've got this one which is a classic emote, but only me and Nyx have it. No one else is allowed to have it. Uh, but Doggo Smile is my favorite uh, emote. All right, so this is the trick that they're doing. We'll have to extend this trick further. So an expression can be group dot term which is a ter is this they're saying term because it's terminal node is that what they were saying putting like the multiplication person factor and term oh i didn't realize that uh lua grammar I don't think this is what I want at all. Where is the, where's the grammar spec? Five one oh grammar, grammar guide. Yo, what's up swastik? You gotta, you gotta love that. You gotta love that email though. All right, this doesn't even exist. Lua grammar specification. I guess we'll have to bang G it. See, why is this the top result though? Oh, okay, here we go. They also call this X, but this is all this is for expression. Or and equalities. So plus minus. I, I don't understand. Isn't there a way to how do they specify the precedence? They don't even do that here. This doesn't have any precedence, does it? This still isn't good though, because this isn't the official grammar. This is not the official grammar. Uh, I think it's in 5.1 reference manual though. I think it's down here. There we go. Prefix X, bin off, X, inner app, X. Yeah, so this isn't about, uh, this doesn't give you the right uh, precedence for it though, does it? Interesting, okay. Tetris OS, I never heard of such a thing. Is it a real thing, Nix? All right, so we've got, uh, so let's see if we can get this, right? So we're gonna do term. 
So we can do term for us is written like this. So term is going to be a sequence. Oops. A factor and an integer. Factor or integer. Ah, I see. So by putting this to the left, it's going to first try and parse this. Ooh, okay. All right, I see, I see. So we can have um, a set here of either group.factor or for us it's group.number because uh, we didn't just do integers we have other numbers they all have the same precedence here so that's fine we might not actually put negative one inside of this i'm not actually sure we'll have to see <laughs> dang that's pretty sweet though nix very cool so then we have our operators, which for now we can just say set of uh, plus and minus like this. Oh, and then we go back to group dot expression because this could optionally go back to just being a number because expression can have a term or can have a factor or it can have a number, right? So we can do this, say group.factor or we can say group.number. And these probably should all get grouped together. These should be sort of like, um, I don't know what you would call this with numbers plus variable names together. Not bundling all possible drivers and tetras. Yeah, what are you guys thinking? Don't need to think about platforms, should be OS. Dang, that's some roll safe Wii smarts right there, you know? Sound Blaster 16, what a name. All right, so then factor is a sequence of, it can be a group dot number. Then it can be a set of star or slash. Then it can be a set of factor can contain factor. It can be itself group dot factor, or it can be group dot number. I don't even know this will still compile. Okay, nice. So let's just see what happens when we try and um, do this. So let's go back up to here. Let's uh, let's uh, yank this stuff here. What we're gonna do? Test uh, expression. This will be expression. And for now, let's actually just comment this part out. Let's say nil, and then let's change this to parse. And we'll change this to expression. Test expression, um, fail. And this will be something like five, uh, whoops, five plus, whoops, five, right? So this is a simple expression here. This should fail and we should see what we get. So we, for some reason, get this guy here. Oh, this isn't, is this not getting captured? Set wraps branch. We should be, we should be capturing these. And sequence should be captured as well. <clears throat> sequence set. Yeah, both those guys should be getting captured. Uh, so I don't know why we would be getting in slot one, just an empty string here. Expression. Time to make a framework for building games running on bare metal in Rust, of course. I don't think you're allowed to write anything uh, <clears throat> for these sort of like, you know, memory critical kind of things, not in Rust. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. So we get a number. Oh, did this just, it just failed completely or what? Cause this only parses basically 
it only parses the first number. Oh, I haven't added white space yet. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Each of these can have white space next to them, but I didn't do that yet, because I am new. When you're banning telescope and starting a new open source operating system written entirely in Lua. Oh, Moon OS? Yeah, we're all I'm almost done with it. We're totally almost done with Moon OS. The whole OS went it'll it'll still be booting by the time we finish. Make a whole OS and react. You like the blue color scheme. Thanks. Okay, so this makes this into a plus. <clears throat> I think what we need to do is... So this gets us an expression. Still don't know how we get nothing. Five, five, number. One, two, three. Five, 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 number. That part's pretty weird. Oh, because we have like a million captures inside of here? Will this, will this make this uh, table look less bad? I actually don't know. I have to think about this maybe then. Maybe I don't want to auto by default capture everything. Hmm. My IRL, yeah true, I'm really blueing out today, aren't I? Yeah, it's in uh, colors, you can find out the infos about it. You also have a pro programmer keyboard. Um, I know lots of professional programmers who do not use fancy keyboards, but yes, it is a bit different for sure. Hmm. So why does this get set like this? Maybe I need to create a different kind of node when I'm generating these. Or did I mess up something here? Number. Number. How? What is the best way for me to do this? We should write a little utility for looking at this output. Yeah, let's let's do that, right? Um, um, Lua nine. Let's let's do something like interactive. So what are your parents Dutch? Uh. They're not like literally born in the Netherlands, but my family was originally from the Netherlands, yes. They're by definition not as pro as you. <laughs> you yeah, it's true. Sometimes the pro keyboard ends up sending you into another language, so it's tough. Where's Melky done when you need him? He's probably still tired from his big birthday bash, you know? Okay. So let's try something like this, right? So it's, what I'd like to do is, so let's say I've got this uh, and then, I go and then get current buff, local buff number uh, equal, oops, equals 234. Uh, local make grammar is require 9 dot, 
Um, I don't even remember what I called this. Parser 2. Where did I get make grammar from? Ah, it's from Parser 2. Okay. Parser 2. Uh, make grammar. So we can have something like input uh, equals 5 plus 5, right? We can have local root uh, is expression. And then we can do something like this. We can get the grammar. Uh, local grammar is make grammar from our root. And then we can do local parsed uh, is grammar match input bin.api.endbin buff set oops, set lines uh, buff number zero negative one false bin.split uh, um, bin.spect parsed Not that good looking, actually. Why doesn't that look good? I don't like the way that that looks. Let's clear my Eric Vax got stuck in a layer. Yep, yep, definitely happens. Dactyl! I use Awesome WM. I didn't use a mouse for a solid minute. Yeah, exactly. If you unplug and replug back in, usually you're okay. M1 Mac has great battery life, but NeoVim is a journey. I don't know what you mean, lithium. Uh, I thought I'd like this to actually look a bit different. Uh, Lua inspect. They've got a few different parameters that you can say here to how you would like this to work. Uh, options, options, dot depth. Matt, that huge. Okay, sweet. New line and options dot indent. Uh, new line, two spaces. Yep, that's what I want. Uh, I just don't know why it printed like this. I don't like that this happened. I want these to be out like like this, right? I don't know, whatever. I don't know why these parse in such a weird way. So let's change this actually to a uh, number. Oops, that's not the one I meant to press. So number captures five things inside of it. That doesn't make any sense. I have key in all layers. It's easier to go back for those cases. Oh, smart manager. That's a good idea. I actually don't have very many buttons that actually switch to another layer. I mostly just have holding buttons. Oh, you're on M1. Ah, yep. Gotcha. Yeah, that's going to happen a few times. Uh, Lizard and I use built-in LSP. Uh, COC is good, though. People should use C COC if they like it. I don't think there's anything wrong about that. Dang, that's not what our project is right now. Commands, edit, project, working on bin Uh, github.com slash t3 slash bin Okay. I just have fun setting it up, honestly. I just have a lot of fun playing with NeoVim, which I think is part of the fun, you know? It's part of the fun. Little file. You, you know, I don't know, for me at least. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and do reload the nine gents like this. So let's actually just do no remap uh, like this. No remap, SDF. All right, so now if I go back to parser two, I can change number to do something different, right? So for example, 
I can do something like, if I comment out this line, do ASCF, I think it won't work. Very cool. So if I do this and I comment this back, sweet. It pops up with what the current notes look like. Beautiful. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I don't know why it does this though. That feels pretty weird. Why do I have this, this, this? Um, are you, oh, listen, are you trying to set up? Uh, call me boomer. I use two colors only in my chrono scheme to make my emblem look like my terminal. Then I have over it in 16 to 20 accent colors and use them for borders. Oh, that's a fun idea, Pixel. Yeah, I've, I use Neo Vim Nightly for all of my work day things and stuff as well. <laughs> Where did you hear 0 0.5 just came out? Someone's been pulling your leg. Oh, I already have P.Dot Capture here. I don't need this. Oops. Okay, good. That dropped one of them. Can okay, I say this? Skip equals true. Oops. That's not the button I want to press again. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> yeah, I think C CSC should work with 0 0.4, I'm pretty sure. There's a meme thing on Twitter. Twitter lied to me. TG, do you use some file tree? Uh, not really. If I need to look at files, I usually use telescope, like something like this. But I don't, I find that I rarely need such a thing. I like the new keyboard a lot so far. It's been a lot of fun. Okay, so I think actually what I need to do is I need to switch which way RAP goes. So RAP should be if if t dot capture, then we're gonna do this. All right, so now we need to go through. We're gonna have to change all the stuff we not all the stuff, but we're gonna have to change a decent amount of stuff that we want. The problem actually was that we were capturing too many things. It gets confusing. So I only want to capture sort of sometimes at the highest level. We actually don't need to say this. We need to put down here, capture equals true. Find all the places we said skip and we can do this. But this we need to say capture equals true. Unary. Uh, I actually don't know if we need, we probably, hmm. Let's leave the captures as much as possible. So this should just be C sequence. Is this any different from seek? No, this is actually just seek. I think I can just say C here. This. Uh, this should also just change to C. And we do want to capture this. Nice, look at that. Okay, we're getting close now. Number just needs to be changed to say this sequence is the one that does the capture. Whoops. Capture equals true. Oh no. Did I do that wrong? Oh whoops. It goes right here. Because I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, we'll have to check that part out in a second. Uh it's in the keyboard description thing. Stuck on Windows and not use those on my current clients. I'm using this code there. Kind of reinforces the nerd trees at home. Yeah, that makes sense, Pixel. All right, catch you later, Swastik. Hopefully your eye problem clears up, bud. Hope you're feeling better. Interesting. So because I didn't capture these... I almost want to say, uh, I almost, 
I almost do want to do something like this. Integer equals p dot capture p dot one or more digits. Then we go down to integer. I can just remove this now because I can just say group dot integer. Oops, which makes sense. You might want to do things differently with those. Interesting though that this I keep pressing the wrong thing because I think I'm testing. So I thought this whole sequence would turn into capture.true. Am I crazy? Am I crazy about this sequence? Wrap. I don't know why I'm getting this empty spot there. I haven't seen our LinkedIn team chat yesterday. Uh, oh, the Omen thing? Yeah, I watched it. Uh, no, Lizard and Beacon bots with you. Yeah, I have some thoughts about it. Uh, we, we can chat about it, of course, off stream. Okay, so that's weird. That's, that's pretty weird. Number value is five. Oh no, that part's good. I actually don't want anything in this spot. I don't think I want anything here. Uh, maybe we actually don't want to say this. Oh, whoops. Uh, 15. Comment this out for a sec. So it's weird that I get literally nothing here. Do I remove this capture? If I don't have this capture, then I get nothing at all. Quite interesting. Optional. Oh, I, I did this bad. There we go. That was the thing. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I had some thoughts about it generally, but it was uh, it was interesting. I use them act numbers, only showing line numbers on the focus buffer. Oh, that's an interesting idea. I could see that being kind of nice. I think I might get distracted by them disappearing, but I could see myself getting used to it um, after a bit. I use neither of them, by the way. Same. Same. These still work or what? Okay, cool. So everything else still works. All right. So I wanted to check out. So let's say we go back to. Let's say we go back here. Let's say we go back to interactive. Let's say we go to here. So if we change this to be expression. We have an expression with the first thing being a number, and that's all that it is, basically. Okay, that makes sense. I'm going to do 5, uh, oops, plus 5, right? So this would be the simplest expression. From arg plus what are you doing i am working on uh building a transpiler vim 9 script to, to lua well like your keyboard oh thanks uh yeah i just got it oh how loud debug node.js with anvim uh have you heard of vim specter that's a good project that you could check out or nvim dap I use NVIM DAP, but I think VIM Spectre is more polished. It's like a version of VIM. Uh, is what like a version of VIM? So we have a number, right? We have five. Hmm. See, this, this might create a quite difficult to do anything with here, right? Because it's like... Making 
So we have a number, and then we have an expression in the first thing here. We don't, first off, we don't drop anything up here in term what we're going to be doing. It doesn't really help us. It doesn't really help us. We need some way to transform this uh, to be slightly different. Because how are we going to execute this code? How are we going to execute this? This seems impossibly difficult to execute. Um... Express.js app? Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't do tons and tons of debugging. Oh, uh, Garbray and Cybermon. Hey, thanks for the follows. Okay, so we have to think about how can we, how can we do this in such a way that we switch these out? So currently, we, um, let's, let's go ahead and hop back to our grammar. When we create a node, we just drop them in as we parse them. Well, this might be okay, because we're gonna get this. We need to put something in here that tells us our operation. So it's not good that all we have right now is we just have this uh, plus. So maybe we need to say like addition is uh, literal plus here. Oops. If I could type, that'd be good. Let's say we do something like this, and we say addition. Whoops, group dot addition, I mean to say. So we have an addition. It feels as if, though, that that's going to be very difficult to parse, because when we start doing this, change this to be multiplication. This is probably not how we're actually going to say this, but that's okay. Let's just, just leave it. Just leave it for a second. Okay. We'll just leave it for a second, chat. Multiplication. Oh, wait. So number and addition. Oh, sweet. We get number, multiplication, number. So we'll get to evaluate this first as we're working through. I think it's actually good. I think it's actually good. Console.logs or tests. Yeah, I usually try and write more tests if it if I can. Uh, her name's Ember, actually, Dark Tower Builder. We just had her out, but she started crying, so I let her go hang out with mom. But then mom didn't want to hang out, so I had to put her away for a little bit. We'll get her out later, though. She gave me a long time. It would be so slow. Yeah, I have been playing with Envim Dap, and it's been pretty cool. Okay, so this would actually work pretty well, right? I think, because what we'll try and do is we'll make number here, and then we'll get to this multiplication. We'll evaluate this first. Okay, so I think we're actually safe. The only thing that's weird is perhaps we should be writing these in slightly different ways. Like we should, because we're gonna need to do some special generation. Instead of building transpilers and maintaining backwards compatibility with Vim, what do you think about just starting from zero, i.e. a new terminal-based editor which only keeps the ideas of add slash five? It sounds like, uh, an, in my opinion, a terrible idea. Sorry. But, uh, like, if you just look at how many plugins exist already for Vim or NeoVim, like, there's just so much stuff. And like, there are so many bug fixes. Vim is still bug fixing things. Think about that. Think about how old Vim is. And it's still finding bug fixes for long, long written code, right? So you'll never, you can't just start from zero. What are you gonna, you'll like be fixing all the same bugs that Vim did forever. So in general, I think it's a bad idea. Now, it doesn't mean that it couldn't be a fun project or that you couldn't have fun doing it. I just think it's a bad idea if what you're looking for is to just create like a sex successful text editor. Th does that make sense? Are you using TreeSitter Parse? No, Nightly Master, we're using LPEG. TreeSitter, I don't think is a good use case for this scenario. don't understand this eva nice i didn't see the joke earlier sorry yeah i don't mean it in like a jerk way 
I don't, I don't mean it in a jerk way. Like, I'm not saying like, that's a terrible idea. I'm just saying like, if you think about it, like maintaining backwards compat gives you tons and tons of things for free. Like a lot of people use Fugitive and they would never leave them because they like Fugitive so much. So like, okay, you make a new editor. It doesn't have Fugitive. No one's going to rewrite Fugitive. Well, I guess you're done. That's what backwards compat gives you. You know what I mean? Why did Neo Vim actually start when Vim already existed? Um, man, I only have 25 more minutes, chat. You guys keep distracting me. I'll answer this one and then we'll uh, all then we'll keep on moving on. Um, Neo Vim started at the time. I would say Bram was more reluctant to add new features. I'm not trying to, I like Bram. So before we start, I've released videos talking about this. I like Bram and he, I think he does lots of really cool stuff and he's crazy smart and a bunch of other things. Uh, so before people want to start an internet flame war about things they don't know about, please don't. Um, but the main thing was Teruda wanted to create some patches that allowed job, asynchronous job control. And he was having a hard time getting that merged. And so eventually he decided he was going to make his own with a very different, but it wasn't necessarily particularly about, in my mind, like the async job control. It was that Taruda and other people interested in NeoVim were excited about a different kind of vision than Vim had for the future. NeoVim's vision wanted to think about how we could modernize the editor while keeping its core they wanted to think about how you could create an rpc plugins as guis create at plugins in any language easily there so it was not just like one small little thing uh it wasn't just that patch it was sort of a difference in vision for where they wanted the project to go um Does that make sense? Does that, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's as much as I got. This is just monster cat stuff, Memphis. Pretty much I just literally go to here. This is, I literally just go to this link and play the songs here. All right, so this would actually give us what we're looking for. I think we want to say something slightly differently than this though. Because this doesn't actually let us, uh, Okay, so what we can do is we could do something like this. So let's actually just say, whoops. This should still work, I believe. Okay, nice, except for the one that we know is already failing. So that's good. This still gives us the same thing here, which is cool. This now lets us do a few nicer things here. So for example, let's do something like, um, so we could do something like terms. Can I make this in any way do something fancy like saying which type of, uh, Thing it is I need to know because I'm gonna do different things for addition and subtraction I guess we could come back to that part later it's not that big of a deal um, so let's go ahead we'll just take this we'll change this to group dot uh, subtraction subtract Let's change this to be um, add, add, multiply. I can't, I still do have trouble typing some words. Divide, 
literal. Yeah, it said why use any of them when you want to use a mouse. My friends say, wait, what? what? Oh, by the way, do you all use mouse while using Neva? It's kind of awkward to use it. Uh, I almost never use mouse except on stream. I like to use mouse because I'm trying to point to where I'm thinking. But when I'm coding myself, I almost never use mouths. Um, I'd consider trying to find out what times you're using a mouse and try to eliminate them. Yeah, like when I'm streaming, I use mouse much, much more because I'm trying to like, I'm showing you where my eyes are looking, right? Because I do this. Then you guys can track where I'm looking. Right, or I just like try and highlight some code here so you guys can see where I'm talking about like this. I do this pretty often. Um. Hey, uh, Wendish, thanks for the thanks for the follow. All right. Substract. That's not a word. Okay. Navigating Vim with brain when? I think probably when it's rewritten in Rust. <clears throat> not because it'll be so good, but by the time it finishes compiling, we'll already have Neuralink V3. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, right? We've got uh, these guys right now, like terms, but these guys don't have any, these don't accept white space currently between them, which is pretty annoying. Because if I did this, it's no longer gonna work. It's gonna be like, I don't know what you're trying to parse. So we need to add the ability for some of these to have uh, white space. So let's say something like uh, line space equals true, right? We go to seek here. We go here. <clears throat> okay, so we have line space, so what can we do with line space? I've got uh, white space somewhere around here. So let's do this. Oh, right, white space table. We yank this down here. Vim and VR, Pog. <laughs> Teach coding my students, I use the mouse a lot, but hardly everyone writing code by myself. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's pretty much how I feel as well, Smith, yeah. The keyboard will just literally be in VR with you. You'll just be moving your finger around and you'll be doing it, you know what I mean? All right, so let's let's try this out. Let's try this out, right? So we've got we'll do something like this. Um, do I have something that says spaces? Oh, I did this already. I did this concept already. Oh right, this actually we want to say this. Any amount of this. Okay, so we can do this. Any white spaces? Cool, cool, this makes sense. So if t dot line space, then whoops, table dot insert results spaces. And, and then after each of these we'll do this as well. If t dot line space, then insert results spaces. And. Beautiful. Now we parse this. And we don't do anything with the white space. Notice all these guys don't have any white spaces in their stuff. 
I mean, this obviously is white space because we captured the whole value. I actually don't even know. Do we even need to capture the term? So when I have this here, if I remove this capture and I do this, I just don't have a value here, but that's fine. This isn't a node that we actually care to capture. What I do want to capture would be something like number. I want to capture number because number is something that we're actually going to generate. Plug in control of in with your voice. Dang, that's like, uh, that's that's a that's pretty next level. What about doing a review of interesting plugins like games? Wait, wait, of interesting plugins like games. Wait, I don't know what you're saying, Eva. Are you saying um, interesting Neovin plugins or like doing game reviews? I don't, I don't know which one you're saying. Vim9 Transpiler is very interesting. Ober, I'm working on it right now. You know, you could, you could work on it too if you wanted. You would use Envim LSP for Go. Does it support format and code? Yes. Yeah. What parser is what? This? This is built on top of LPEG. Ober. Yeah, you can uh, read about it here. Bram's making a new Vim9 one. Review of new Tetris. <laughs> That's a pretty funny idea, Eva. Uh, yeah. Eva, we're on Discord together, right? Will you Discord me that? Because <clears throat> it's a funny idea. We should chat about it a little. But I don't have time right now to do it. Okay, so actually even factor I don't think needs to capture. Because the things inside of it are the things that are going to be due to capture. So you skip white space. We can if we want. Nice, this should make us a lot leaner. This makes us a lot leaner. I don't even know if I really need position either. I guess I could potentially drop position, right? Does Vim9 script care about white space? In some spots, yes, in some spots, no. So our parser will accommodate accordingly. I don't think I even, I wonder if I even need to do position. It would clean this up a lot to not have it. What do you mean interesting design choice? Like some, in some places white space matters and other places it doesn't. Like, uh, I mean, like some stuff needs to be on one line, some stuff doesn't. Some things mean different things when they're on different lines. It doesn't have like line terminals, right? It doesn't have semicolons. So it's gonna, of course, like, I mean, it just depends. Like, does it care about white space? Probably all languages care a little bit about white space. <laughs> Not all languages, most languages care at least a little bit about white space. Let's actually just drop this right now, pass. Actually, I'm just gonna drop this right now. Can, oops, can add back pass if we need to. Oh, that's much better. I guess Julia has it. Lua doesn't. I think there are some things that it matters for uh, some white space, right? Um, what was I think? There's some parts that are, it was like if you did, uh, I was just, for example, if you do this, uh... no, what was it? Uh, shoot, there was something that I was thinking of before. It was like there's some weird stuff with uh, parentheses. But I, I understand. Um, yeah, but I mean, I know what you're saying. Like, Lua doesn't really care about it, but there are some cases where white space can matter, if I recall. But I don't know, it doesn't really matter. The point, the, I wasn't trying to make a big point. I wonder if I can do 
just get rid of value and it always just sits in no we don't want to do that okay so this is actually pretty good this looks good that's being even awesome the busy are really helpful awesome i'm really happy to hear that kbrd thanks for the compliments Um, okay, so this is good. I think we're actually parsing this pretty okay. Um, it's possible that we could write this in a slightly different way. And we still haven't, we haven't done like exponentiation. So that still needs to happen for expression. <clears throat> oh, let's just actually write it like this. Exponentiation. There's probably some other ones that we need to do as well. But this is good. This is at least uh, this this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I feel like you can call function a little like that makes the grammar nice. Yeah, I'm thinking it looks pretty nice the way I'm writing it right now. I might even do it like this. I think this is pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm getting I'm getting quite happy with the situation here. Some of these I still need to write a few more things. So we could do something like this as well. Annie, where do I have Annie? So we can do sum so we had uh, down here we had what one or more of a branch right so we can just say something like sum some set of this digit range range here we go like this so actually sum is just uh, p dot one or more like this actually I think will work Uh, what was the what was the failure for this one? Um, pass in nil. No one's failing. Should load something. Oh, interesting. I messed up something here. One or more. Oh, maybe this isn't maybe this isn't right for this although it says that it still works for set of digits p dot range p dot range this when you do i think there is no lexer um i gotta go do some school all right catch you later jake i gotta leave anyways in like five minutes i'll bash when he's here of course just when I need to leave, I wanted to try and impress the new only devs member, but it's like, man, I gotta leave now. What's going on with that? So when you do LPEG, there is no Lexer. Um, I arrive and he ends. Bash, I don't understand what the, what the, like, why this keeps on happening. Uh, there is no Lexer. I actually don't. I mean, you could. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. I know she. It's just like she wants to become friends with me so that she can become better friends with Melky. I do feel like that's probably the case. 
That feels that feels about right. That feels about right. Yeah. Ah, uh, this isn't a folder. Why not ZSH Bunny? True, Eva. I have the clip from three minutes ago and Prime said he was waiting for a bash up so he can leave. Don't you dare clip and ship it. I have a ZSH Bunny account. No, Bash, you gotta be kidding. I will be, I'm seriously impressed with that. Oh, I don't have position anymore. Ah, that's why. I didn't break anything, actually. Dang it, value. You probably should say Vim9 script, right? All right, there we go. There we go, chat, nice. Picture didn't happen. Digibunny could be your bot. True. That's such a good idea, Rex. That's pretty next level. That'd be pretty next level. Zizzob. Thanks for the follow. ZHH Bunny confirmed. If you don't follow me with that account right now. Wait, is that? Is that follow botting? Hmm. Oh well, do it anyways. Nice, followed by Bash Bunny and ZSH Bunny. I'm probably the first only dev to have that happen. Think about it, chat. Think about it. Do I have something for range? Uh, did I make a live.range? Nice, fish bunny when? No need. <clears throat> no need to create fish bunny. Conch bunny, dang, now that's pretty next level though. Now we can do this. We can say local range is lived our range, right? Now we can just do this and we can say this, which looks way better. Oh shoot, I didn't even think of this. We can do this, we can do, um, nope. Change surrounding, parentheses, to this. Oh yeah. Change surrounding this to this. Nope, change surrounding this to this. There we go, I want the spaces. Come in class, you gotta go, catch you later. So you gotta leave anyways, what? You can't be mad at me for leaving. Yep, yep, yep. I did the wrong one. I did the wrong one. I was I was still thinking it through. My keys are in a different spot now, too, which is weird. They're here. I don't know if you guys noticed this yet, but I've got all of my different brackets here. Still still mad. Still mad. So it takes me a little bit to think about how I can do that these days. Yes, hello. See ya. So what we need to do is we will need to make a generator for this still. That's okay though. 
Oh, we can change this to one or more. We can say sum, sum digit, sum digit. Beautiful. Nice. Okay, so we should just change the way that this works, which would be that this is no longer nil. Um, hmm. I should find some way to like reduce this to some expression that makes sense, but it should have captured uh, the five, five uh, plus five. I think right. Uh, get. Sweet. So if we said instead this was like five, you know, six or something for some reason, then it'll print out our little guy here, but beep, 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 which is nice. It's like, okay, you got add, 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 number, number, number right here. Yep. Cool. Okay, this is a good place to stop, chat. I'm feeling real good about this. Whoops. What did I just do? I don't even actually know what I just did. History. Oh, that was weird. I don't even know what that one was. Anyone try to learn Vim and the Can we learn less than one week, one month? Uh, depends what you mean learn. Depends what you mean learn. I went from Webstorm to add, to add them, less is more, add is up next. I don't know about that. I think there's some, maybe some diminishing returns there for you. Peace call, hopefully you're not here to tell me that I need to stop singing because it hurts my feelings. All right, chat. I think I gotta go. That's two hours. It's two hours right now. So we need to be done. Who are we gonna raid? Thanks for hanging out, by the way. Chat, good news is... We're gonna get stuck in here. Oh my god, um, oh my god that was That's not the good news. There is a pretty good chance I can apply for partner next week. Pretty good chance. Pog champ chat. Giant Waffle, the Minecrafter? What? Isn't this the, isn't the Minecraft dude? I watched so many of his videos. Julius Strader, that looks cool. Well, that looks super awesome. Let's raid a Ludum Darer. I just raided Seedum Griffin pretty recently, I think. Hey, there's us. All right, chat. Raid Jules. We got Waffle. I don't know who this is. Lana. Handmade Hero is on too? Holy cow. All right. Toggle, I'm just about to leave. Jules. Jules. Oh, that's my timer. That's my timer. All right, we're gonna do Jules. What about writing a game in the of him? That'd be an interesting idea. Hey, I'll see y'all later. Uh, we'll be back probably next week uh, for some stuff. We got one more week and then I'm gonna be gone for a little while. Uh, we're helping Kayleen's grandma move and uh, then we're having a little vacation. So, but I'll be here still next week. Don't worry, don't worry, Chad. I, won't, I wouldn't leave you so suddenly without giving you more of a heads up. Do not be afraid. All right, chat, everybody ready? Um, yeah, okay, I think we're ready to go. Okay, <sighs> see you, everybody. And, oh, we still had, we just had one more person join the raid. You guys, are you ready? 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 Okay, too bad, bye.